Tuttle, and I'm a 21-year-old cyclist. 1999, Lance Armstrong won his first Tour de France, um, and that's when I became a giant cycling fan and followed Lance Armstrong. Uh, he won six more after that, so a total of seven, and he was a hero to me. This is seven Tour de France champion Lance Armstrong. Uh, this is when he's on the U.S. Postal Service team. Um, he has recently been allegedly doping for those years of cycling, and now all of his sponsors have dropped him, and he has been stripped of his seven tour titles today. My reaction to this is that I am very upset. He was a hero to me, and he's taken a lot away from me. And it's hard to look up to these athletes knowing that they are cheating. It's not really worth watching anymore. It's hard to even race or even think about race. Just knowing that all these people are cheating is just hard to imagine living up to them because you can't. I got my first road bike after Lance Armstrong won his first Tour de France. It was a red, white, and blue trek. I loved it. I did my first long distance bicycle tour with my dad when I was uh, 14 years old. I ride from the middle of Oregon down to San Francisco. It was 10 days, a little over a thousand miles. We carried all our stuff, had our tents, slept in parks and stuff like that. And um, then I did another one the next year. That one was, I think, 1,700 miles. And we did that in 12 days, just us and the bikes. I've also raced up Mount Washington four times in the world's hardest bicycle hill race, grueling bike race. Uh, it is seven miles of uphill. Its uh, average gradient is, I think, 12%, and it reaches the hardest part at 22% at the top. It's really hard to understand 22%, but people were walking up it, and they would fall over. I saw a lot of people fall over walking up it. It was a sad sight. It's chaotic. I don't remember finishing the race when I did it the second time. I just kind of like blacked out a little bit, almost threw up. It was Awesome. I loved it. Great feeling. These are two of my bicycles. The top one is the Serata Otro. This is the Bianchi Pista. The top one is a road bike that I've used on one long distance bike ride and uh, also had it shipped to me in the Netherlands. Um, this is the Bianchi. Uh, it's a fixed geared bicycle. Uh, I use that for training mostly, but now I use it for riding around campus. So I studied abroad last semester in the Netherlands. I loved biking in the Netherlands. It was really flat, so I missed hills, actually. Then I also had my road bike shipped over to me. That was one of the greater days there, I would say, when I got my bike, because I was so excited to have it. And When I got it, it was uh, raining, and I was kind of upset that my bike was going to have to touch the rain, but rode it back home, put it in my bed, dried it off, slept with it. Everyone bikes a lot. And uh, I was really into that. I shipped this bike over there and had the best time biking on not only bike trails like this, which were everywhere, but even on the roads, which were a lot of fun to bike on. It's all flat, everything's really smooth. It's not pretty like this with the trees, but it's pretty in a different sense. Um, mostly people ride pretty slowly, but I like to ride fast, so that's what I got to do out there on this bike. My reason for cycling has always been the independence that I felt from it. When I was a kid, I loved getting in my little toys and just like getting them going really fast. And that's just kind of how I got into cycling because it was faster than running. I could go wherever I wanted and I was pretty good at it. So here we are on the bike trail that goes from Amherst to Northampton. Uh, it's a great way to get to class. It's a fast way, it's efficient, it's good for you. I used to live in Northampton. Um, and I would bike to class and it was wonderful. There's nothing like biking to class and waking up that way. Every country I want to go to, I want to bike there. I think it's one of the most coolest ways to see a country. And I learned that you can't really think about the distance you have left, but just about like where you are right there.